Hey guys, just wanted to make a quick video. I got an ask from Wind Below, who was asking me if I ever experience any sort of discomfort in my, uh, my my wrist or my fingers while I'm knitting, and I do quite often actually. But um, I attribute that to many years of uh, video gaming and the fact that I work in IT, so I'm always typing on a computer, and I don't ever really keep my wrist in the proper place that it should be in. And then on top of that, I started knitting about five or six years ago, so that just made everything worse. And um, what I do to make it better is I try to um, stretch out my wrists and also um, wear a couple braces. And I'm going to show those off. So this is one of the braces that I wear, <clears throat> and it just slips on. It's a really soft brace, and it slips on, and then it applies pressure to the wrist. And I wear this while I'm knitting, um, I wear it at work while I'm typing, and um, I love it. It really does make everything feel a lot better. Um, it takes away a little bit of pain the next day. Um, I definitely notice that if I knit without it the next day, my wrist hurts a little bit more than usual. Um, <clears throat> but I also get trigger thumb, so my thumb will actually stick to my hand like that. And I have to pry it and it hurts so bad. Um, also. A lot of times what I do is I have a hard brace like that, so there's a, a piece of metal in there, and I will wear this at night. So when you strap it on, it will keep your wrist bent at an angle, but it also keep it from moving around too much. And, and the issue is you don't want your wrist bent backwards because that can push against things. I'm really not sure. I'm going off what my, my doctor told me about. But I wear this at night sometimes. My wrist has really been bothering me during the day. I will wear this and that will do the trick the next day and make me feel a little better. Um, now for me, I definitely know I have some sort of tendonitis. So um, there's inflammation and I'll usually take Advil or Tylenol or something. Usually Advil or Aleve, not Tylenol. Advil or Aleve to get the swelling down and if I'm really hurting I will actually do a, uh, a warm and then switch to a cold and back to a warm to try and uh, try and get the inflammation down try and get the pain down so mix of the braces um, along with stretching it out and doing the hot cold uh, back and forth a few minutes hot a few minutes cold a few minutes hot a few minutes of cold um, will usually do the trick. Sometimes, if I don't have any of these things during the day, I'll do some stretches. And um, one of the stretches I do is you hold <coughs> hold your arm out. I got really long arms, so excuse me. So you hold your arm out, grab your thumb. So put your thumb down, bend your fingers like that, and then bend your whole wrist in. And I like to push out a little bit with my arm and I'll hold that for a little bit. So a better idea. And what that does is it'll stretch all this in here and um, relieve a little bit of the pain in the actual wrist. Um, if you are feeling a lot of pain and you're feeling tingling in your fingers, um, the tingling can be a sign of carpal tunnel. Um, but a lot of pain can be a sign of tendonitis. I'd highly recommend going to your doctor and possibly seeing uh, a physical therapist if you can um, and doing a few sessions of physical therapy. But uh, yeah, if you guys have any other questions, just leave them in my ask and I'm going to try and make a lot more of these videos as, um, as the days go along. So thanks a lot guys. Happy knitting! So if you guys like these videos, um, I will always post them on my Tumblr. You can follow me on Tumblr at The Prince and the Pearl, and you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'll put links in down below for YouTube. I'll put links on my Tumblr post. You can follow me and subscribe to me on YouTube at The Prince and the Pearl.